Problem Solving, Guess and Check, Lesson 8.4 Sometimes we might need to measure an object that isn't a straight line. And this line would be easy to measure because it's straight. We can just take a ruler and we can just line it up like this and see by my thumb that it's 5 inches long. But what happens when we have something like this? Well, to measure a path that's not a straight line, we can use a string. We can line the string up next to the object, mark the end on the string, or pinch it with our fingers and measure the string to our fingers or to the mark. We could also mark inches onto the string and line it up to the object to count the marks. Or we can measure each part of the path with a ruler and add the parts. We could take a ruler and we could measure this part of the line. We can see that by my thumb it's three inches. And then we can measure this part, and that's three inches, and three inches plus three inches is six inches. See? So we're going to do that. We're going to use a string in this first part. This is going to be fun because I've only got one hand because I'm holding the camera. So let's guess how many inches we think this is, okay, for its full path. Now that's one inch. So how many inches do you think that that object is. If this is one inch, this must be like one, two, three, four. Could it be four inches? Let's guess about four inches, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our string and we're going to line it up with this. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I'm going to line it up like this, all right, it's going this way, whoops, let's do this, sorry about that, so it's going right here, and then we're going to bend it and bring it up to about right there, okay, so I pinched it off, now we can measure this with the ruler, here I've got my ruler, and I've got my string pinched off with my fingers, and we see it is four inches. So that was a good guess, wasn't it? So when we measured it, the string was pinched at four inches. See? We could do it again if this is one inch. How many inches do you think this might be? Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. You think it might be about six? That's going to be my guess. What do you guess it is? Now we can take our string and measure it. So now I've got my string all lined up here. We can pinch it off right here. That's about how long it was. And now we can measure it with the ruler. Here we've got our ruler again. This is where it's pinched off. We can line this up to the end of the ruler, right here, and look, it is about six inches. See that? So it's about six inches where we pinched it off on the string. So that was a good guess. When we measured it, it was about six inches. What about this one? Can you guess how many inches this is? So if that is one inch, how many inches could this be? You think about one, two, three, four, five, or do you think one, two, three? Which one do you think? I'm figuring that's about one inch, and it looks like this is longer on the sides than the bottom. So that might be two, that might be one, and that might be two. That's two, three, four, five. I'm going to guess five inches. Now we can take our string and measure it. I've got my string all lined up now. I can pinch it off. It went down and around and up. I can pinch it off about where it is. And now we can line it up with the ruler and see how long this part is on the left. All right. We've got our ruler lined up on the table again. And we line this up. And look. Ooh, it's only four inches. 
So I was wrong. So we got four inches where it's pinched off. See that? So I guess a little high. That's why it's good to actually measure things. You can guess and that could help you, but if you really want to know, then you need to measure, don't you? All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a ruler and we're going to add the measures. So if that's one inch, let's guess how many inches we think this might be. You think it might be, looking at that, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that a good guess? So let's guess eight inches. And now we're going to get our ruler and we're going to actually measure each part and then we're going to add them together, okay? So here I've got my ruler. We're going to line this up like this and we can see right here that the first part of it is three inches. Then we measure this part, the middle, and that's three inches. And then we measure this part and it's two inches. So we need to add three plus three plus two. Three plus three is six, seven, eight. So it was eight inches. See that? We just measured each part separately and then added up the measures. All right, let's try that one more time. Now look at this shape. How many inches do you think it is? Now that one was eight inches and we know that that's an inch here we've got our ruler. If this part of it's two inches, see how it's right here at two inches? How big do you think this is for the path? How long is this path? Well, if that's two inches, then that must be about two, right? And that must be about two, and that must be about two, and that must be about two, because they all look like they're about the same length, right? So let's guess that maybe it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to guess ten inches. There's one, two, three, four, five parts that I think are two inches long. So we skip count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I'm guessing about ten inches. So now let's measure it. We come here and Yep, that's two inches right here to my thumb. See that? So if that's two inches, there's another two inches. There's another two inches. There's another two inches. And there's another two inches. So what we've got is two plus two plus two plus two plus two. We have five of them. One, two, three, four, five parts that are two inches. 2 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it was 10 inches. See? We could even skip count these 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. See? All right, let's try some critical thinking. Look at this blue one and look at the green one. Which one do you think has a longer path? Now, when you look at these, it looks like the green one is taking up more space, right? It's going longer this way. And this one looks like it's not as long because it's in a smaller space. Look at how many bends they have though. So which do you think has a longer path? Well, this is kind of an optical illusion. It can trick your eyes. So let's measure how long the first part is, okay? And that's one inch. See that? That first little part is one inch. What about here? Well, that's one inch also. And they're all the same length, so all of these are one inch parts. So now what we can do is count how many parts they have. If each of these parts of the path are an inch, we can actually count them as a one. That's one inch. 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches, 7 inches, 8 inches, 9 inches. 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inches. 
This one's just squish, squished together more. That's all. But it's got nine one-inch parts to its path. This only has eight one-inch parts to its path. See that? Now, we can also use a ruler to mark inches on a string. We can use a ruler and line a string up with it and just put little marks wherever there's an inch. See that? Then that way, we could just line this up next to something and say, okay, well that's one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. See how we can do that? We could also use a measuring tape. A measuring tape is 60 inches long usually, which is about five feet, and it bends, see? It's real bendable. So you could wrap it around your, your waist to see how your waist measures, or you could wrap it around something that's not on a straight path, and you could use this to help you measure something that's not a straight path, couldn't you? Now, did you know that a horse's height is measured in hands? I bet some of you did know that. What they do is they measure the horse from right up here all the way down to the ground and they take their hand across this way as the measurement for one hand. It's about four inches. And then they measure the horse in hands. One, two, three, four, five, like that, going all the way down, see? And that's how tall a horse's height is how many hands he is, okay? Did you know the length from one fingertip across your body to the other fingertip is about the same as your height? This is called your arm span. An arm span longer than a person's height is good for swimming. And an arm span less than a person's height is good for weightlifting. Swimming, you have longer arms to swim with so you can go faster. And if your arms are less than your height, it's good for weightlifting because you keep your arms close to your body, all right? So it would be a person's fingertips, okay, all the way across their body to their other fingertip, okay? That measurement from fingertip to fingertip should be about the same as the person's height, okay? See? Did you know that parts of the human body were some of the earliest units of measure? Yeah. A handful, well, that's about how much can be held in a hand. People would use that for grain and for corn and oats. They'd say a handful. A cubit, that's your measure from your elbow to your fingertip. So someone's arm, that would be the measure from the elbow up to the fingertip. That would be a cubit. See? And a span, well that's the measure from the tip of your thumb across to your pinky. That's called a span. See? It's used in old times. Okay? And just like a foot is 12 inches. It was about the length of a man's foot. Okay? So that is Different way to measure, isn't it? Using a string. And I'll see you in the next video and we'll continue talking about measuring. Bye.